Hello Booktube, it's Ben here from the History Fella channel. Um, just a quick one today because um, I've got I've gone and pulled the muscle in my back and I've also got um, severe toothache as well so um, it's not going to be a quick one. Um, I'm going to do a book review today of Sam Gwynn's book Rebel Yell. Um, it's published by Scribner Book Company. Um, it's about it's a a decent sized volume. It's about six hundred and eighty pages, maybe seven hundred pages altogether. And um, the book's all about Stonewall Jackson, um, his life um, up until um, until he sadly died during the Civil War. Um, First of all, I want to start off by saying that um, I thoroughly enjoyed the book. It was a really good book. Um, it was a quick read, as in, um, I think Sam Gwynn writes um, quite quick books or stories, and um, the write it's not it doesn't get um, slowed down or bogged down in infinite amount of detail or just going round and round in circles. Um, I think the book's very well written and it's a good, easy, quick read. Um, and I'd like to say, um, American writers, when they're writing about American statesmen, presidents, um, captains and generals in the Civil War, write really good books. I don't know whether it's because I um, I really enjoy American history, but the writing always just seems to flow better in Amer uh, books about American subjects written by American people. So um, I think, and I think this comes comes through this book really well, and quite a number of other books that I've got as well on my shelf that um, books about American people or leaders. Are really good to read. Um, about the book, um, as I said, it's really good. Um, the storytelling is quite good. Um, there was a couple of bits in it where I thought um, the story was a bit non-linear, as in, you know, we were get, at the beginning in the prologue, we were suddenly in the middle of battle rather than at the start of this, this story. Um, I think there's one bit about um, when he was at West Point. That didn't come in until later on and he was, um, uh, I think it was, he was being compared to one of the other generals on the Union side. And it was then taken back to West Point. So um, in certain places I thought, um, the book could have been more linear and in a, in a decent timeline, but that was probably only a minor critique, um, and it didn't it didn't really affect the book much. It just to me, it would have been more sense to do it in a straightforward manner. But I mean, the really good book is a really good book. Uh, the parts that stood out to me was all the details. Um, learn about Stonewall, the battles in which in which he was involved in, how he was always been, um, managed to get round the back, um, or he would outflank the opposition. And the book actually reminded me, um, Stonewall Jackson to me reminds me of um, like a sensible George Custer. As in that he's, he's quite a, a flamboyant character in his ways and how he sees battle and how he wants to fight them. And it kind of reminds me a lot of um, George Custer in that he was um, a bit like an original out of the box sort of person. But he was, Custer was far more careless, um, probably too self-centred 
but um, that's who kind of Stonewall Jackson reminds me of. Um, I enjoyed reading about his family. Um, he got on well with his sister Laura, um, certainly in his early years. Um, until sadly, um, well, for for him, she took the union side, so there was kind of, you know, a bit of a falling out over that. And um, just, it was just a thoroughly good read. Um, I would highly recommend it to other people. Um, I've read a couple of other Jack, um, Stonewall Jackson books, which were probably published um, in the early 20th century but um, this book is far better and it's probably one of the best books that I've read on Stonewall Jackson. Um, as I said it's Rebel Yell written by Sam C. Gwynn um, published by Scribner Books or the Scribner Book Company. This paperback cost me about £12.99 uh, British Pounds uh, it's about 700 pages long and it's really good. I would certainly give it at least a 4 out of 5 star rating and one I will probably go back and read quite soon. But anyway, that's the end of the um, book review. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will be back later on this week with some more videos for you to watch. Um, if you've enjoyed the book review, give it a thumbs up or... If you thought it had a different opinion to me, or maybe you thought the same, let me know in the comments down below. And I shall see you next time um, for a video from the History Fella channel. Thank you very much for watching.